Okay, deep fried fish pie. So today I'm going to be reviewing Marvel Leg Legacy issue one. So this um, cover is really cool. Folds out, and you can see most of the Marvel characters, even dead ones. And um, ads. And we have like a pencil drawing of the cover, part of the cover. So, the comic it starts off with Melania, Hammer, Thor's Hammer. And we see some unevolved humans trying to lift it one million years ago and then we see Odin come and he's meant to be the Thor or the, the hammer wielding Avenger of the Avengers one million BC and he just tries to show away the humans and um, then we see Phoenix in the background. She comes, she's like a cave woman, not wearing anything like she normally does. And um, Odin, he just lifts up, lifts up his hammer. Then the rest of the Avengers come, got Black Panther, Starbrand, um, Iron Fist, Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider who's my favourite because he rides a mouth. You don't see him much in a comic but if you've seen variant covers you can see him riding a flaming mammoth which is really cool. And then this massive thing, a celestial, look, reminds me a lot of Annihilation from Fantastic Four, and then, uh, they, they try to kill it, and as the comic moves on to the present day, we see uh, the current Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider, who Originally, when I first found who he was, I wasn't a big fan of him since he wasn't riding a motorbike. But after watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, he's, he's definitely my favourite ghost rider. And you see this police person, and he's like, alright. He um, tries to arrest Robbie, but he um, starts driving away. He falls asleep or something, and then he sees this sign, Cape Town in South Africa. So he's driven all that way. And um, then Starbrand comes. He's definitely not one of my favourite Marvel heroes. And he just randomly starts trying to kill Robbie. And he's just like, oh, I have to kill you for no reason. I think he's trying to stop him from finding something. And then um, Robbie's car just smashes him. And Ghost Rider, Robbie turns into Ghost Rider. Then we move on to Jotunheim, where Loki's trying to convince the the tiny frost beasts who've been neglected to fight against the um, actual frost beasts. He's actually trying to get them to work for him by trying to find this box on Earth. So he just sends them to Midgard. 
to find this crate. So it's at shield. You see shield here, and they're like, oh, we have to defend these. And then there's this random box, which is actually the box that um, the frost beasts are trying to find. And then the frost beasts come in and start attacking. Um, then you see this hammer come. Then um, Sam Wilson and Thor they come in to start beating up the frost beasts, and they they're kind of joking a bit. Then this frost beast threatens this guy. Riri Ironheart comes, beats up this frost beast. Um, and it, yeah. Then you see this the crate again, and I thought originally since it was glowing, I thought it was. I thought it was some, um, frost giant relic or something. And then we move over again to this diner. And then on the at the diner they have these news and they're talking about where's Hydra Captain where's Captain America? And you see S Steve at the diner not knowing what to do after just after Se Secret Empire. So just talking to the diner there, there. We move over to Asgardia, which is I'm pretty sure the uh Asgard Asgard got destroyed. So we see um Thor, Aiden, Sun having some mead. I actually prefer. Thor like this without his hammer. He looks much better, cooler, and especially in the movie as well. And then we just see this random guy dying. So we move over to some Stark facility where um, Tony Stark was being kept. And um, this was. This is supposed to be the machine that's keeping Tony Stark alive, but kind of looks like a school printer. But anyway, um, Tony Stark's missing, and I have no evidence of him going missing. So, then we move back to Ghost Rider and Starbrand. They start beating each other up, fighting. So then, you know, they crash into this archeolo archaeological site. Um, but a million years ago, I'm pretty sure these are paleontologists, not archaeologists. Um, dinosaur people. But. We see these two random shield guards, and they're like, "Oh, it's our last at shield, and we have to babysit these archaeologists." And we just see Starbrand crash into here, and he's like, "No, I don't. This is this is where I don't want to be. Ghost Rider might find it or something." And you know the shield guys, death. Telling him, oh, don't move. And then Starbrand just destroys them. And then one of the archaeologists, he's like, maybe you should go. Did you see what he did? He's like, no, we have to keep digging. And then we move over to Deadpool. And then he's like, for some reason, really, he's talking about Bless me, father, for I have sinned. And then there's these police guys, and they're like, oh, you're under arrest. 
and then they just start shooting him, and it's still like, thank you, fa father, may I have, and then even when he's getting shot in the toilet, which looks terrible, we move over to Sanctum, it's like, Oh, someone broke into the phantom. Uh, I'm Fist and Dr. Strange, they're talking. And then they're like, well, luckily they didn't make it past the shrubbery. And then it's like, I'm Fist is just joking. Like, the shrubbery. And then he's like, oh, Dr. Strange, my shrubbery is not to be trifled with. And then he's just joking about his refrigerator. And then Doc is... Just like, oh, don't joke about my refrigerator. He's no longer um, Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, then we see Norman Osborn walking, and it's just like, damn, that shrubbery. <laughs> we move over to the Avengers Mansion with Jarvis and some, some person that I don't know. Then back to the Cap, Riri, and uh, Thor fighting the Frost Beasts. Then, you know, Riri's just like, oh, hey, can I say the Avengers catchphrase? And so she starts saying it, Avengers, and then she just forgets. And then two Frost Beasts. That they actually find the crate, and then one of them runs away with the crate. Then we move over to Johnny Storm, and uh, what? Yeah, Johnny Storm and Ben Grimm. And if you've seen some ads, the Fantastic Four, or at least these two, they're coming back, and they just shoot. Johnny's just. Oh no, it's actually Ben with a gun. Shoots up some fourth the fourth signal. We move over to some place in space. I didn't actually know, but apparently Black Panther has his own planet now. The intergalactic empire of Wakanda. And yeah, Alpha Flight here, just doing stuff. Then we move back to the main fight between Ghost Rider and Starbrand. And then Ghost Rider's just like, how about I give you a penance stare? And if you don't know what a penance stare is, it's a skill, a power that Ghost Riders have. That when they stare into their enemies, the enemy will feel all the pain that they've ever caused to others. And then Starbrand just explodes. And I thought, um, I'm guessing this is just how much pain Starbrand's caused. But guess why it's just like, huh? I didn't know the penance stare could do that just um, rides away and it's like no more sleeping he drives past the arch archaeological site then we see the two guys archaeologists going down in the site and they find these weird markings and then they find the hand of the celestial and it's crackling with some energy or something Guessing the Celestial is still alive. And then, um, we just see the body of the Celestial. Then we see the markings again, and you can actually see the markings of the Avengers. You got Phoenix, Iron Fist, Thor, Black Panther, Starbrand, and Iron Vagamotto, Doctor Strange. We move over <coughs> back to the kind of Avengers <coughs> and we see that the Frost Beasts they're getting arrested they're like you sure these can hold 
and they're like, these are made for the Hulk, but they never really work. And, um, Ironheart, she's just like, oh, you know, I could make it better. So then we see the Frost Beast, he ran away with the crate. And, um, yeah, he's like, Loki, open the portal. And then he sees this light, he's like, thank you, about time. But it's actually, um, some light from a truck. And, um, the truck just crashes into this Frost Beast. And you can see um, the Frost Beast is getting angry and he's like, I'll kill you, you human. And the human just walks out. And, um, yeah, he's just like, I'll c um, I'm Snarf, son of Scarcle, son of Cold Bill, Cold Bane. He's like, I'm a warrior of Jodenheim. And then he's just like, you're dead, human. Then this guy, he's just like, nah, not anymore. Snicked. Wolverine is back. And you just see Jean Grey. And you see this Wolverine's grave. Or, oh, not grave. This was where Wolverine was inside, I'm pretty sure. And it's just like, welcome back, Wolverine. Then we just see um, the beer man drinking some beer, and it's just like, keep it cold for me. He just puts it in the dead Frost Beast body. He opens the crate, grabs the glowy thing, and it's just like, ain't we a hell of a pair? And... An infinity stone. Not sure which one it is because they keep changing the colours, but then we go, we see the guardians, we see Gamora. She's just like, oh, another infinity stone's been found. Loki, he's just like, oh, it would have been nice with an infinity stone. But um he says, Oh well. Well, he's just like, oh well. And apparently he's actually trying to actually save people. Uh, we just see Robbie driving away. We see Jane and Sam kissing and then he's just really just sitting there, a bit annoyed. We see the beer truck. And then we see this hand in some space what looks like a hand and then we just see this actual hand come out and um, if you look at the colour and the pattern on it you can probably tell Valeria Riches and um, her brother so, yeah, they're coming, the Fantastic Four are coming back, I'm pretty sure, because their children are here, and then at the bottom, you just see um, the Fantastic Four sign, and yeah, um, what, Fla Franklin and um, Valeria, they're just chasing each other, and that's the end. Of the comic, some writing talk about um, value stamps and some other things, and advertising more. And that's the end of the comic. So, this comic, it's a one shot. So there's not going to be any more, like, legacy issues, but they are doing, like, Spider-Man legacy and stuff. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a reboot, a soft reboot um, of Marvel. 
and uh, it it's basically just setting up a lot of the stories of the characters in Marvel Legacy. I actually a similar comic to this Monsters Unleashed where I kept I didn't read the whole thing of it, I only read the first issue. I didn't really like it how they kept switching out showing all these different characters but never actually focusing on one. But in this issue it's actually it's quite interesting and I actually do develop some of the storylines, especially the main one between uh Ghost Rider and Starbrand. So I really like this issue. Um, probably one of my favourite issues from Marvel. Um, Deep Fried Fish Pie, out. Uh, 